Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I've been on a big sort of hiatus because uh, I've been doing my exams so that's why I haven't been like uploading more videos and I haven't been uploading as many uh, in like Instagram uh, pictures as well but I did I did post on Instagram about my exams so um, I would recommend you follow me on Instagram because like you can get all the updates from me um, if you don't follow me already on Instagram but um, yeah they're all over now I had five exams in five days um, but I had six exams overall but like I had like I had like a whole week and I had an exam at half nine every morning and it was just the worst week ever so I'm really glad to be um I'm really glad to so I'm really glad that I can just uh, focus a bit more on my uh, workouts again but I'm on my I'm in my second semester so very soon it's gonna get all crazy and I'll need to like revise again and stuff so I'm just gonna enjoy my uh, lifting while I can so in this video um I'm going to at the end will be my leg workout with like a voiceover which a lot of people w was requesting a leg workout um so my leg workouts have been the same mostly for a long time I'd usually like squat just like a normal like high bar squat um or I'd do um a leg press or I'd do both sometimes feeling depending on how sort of strong I was feeling and I do like leg extensions and uh, leg curls and sometimes I do like a Smith machine squat so I didn't actually I've not actually done very much for legs um but I've I've started to like want I want to start sort of grow them again and stuff so um I mean usually if I go really heavy on squats then that'll grow my quads like I'm, I know that's what grows my quads like um but I want to try focus a bit more on my glutes and uh, hamstrings. So I've been doing, I've just started doing sumo deadlifts. So that they feel really good. Um, but in, in the video that you're gonna see um, is the second time I've done them. So if my form's not very good, then well, let me know, but like, I'm still sort of working on things. Um, yeah, and um, I just I just wanted to bring up, and I actually did hip thrusts, so like I don't I've never done hip thrusts before because like it looks so awkward to set up, and you've got to like get something on your like your hips for the bar because it like leaves bruises and stuff. But I just use like my I just got like my I was wearing like a sweatshirt, and I just put that on my hips, and that seemed fine. And it's like I, I can't lift very much on them. I didn't actually manage to film it. But uh, I'll have all the details in the um, in the sort of uh, segment, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll put all my like reps and lifts and stuff in the description below. So if you have any questions about what I'm lifting or how many reps I'm doing for anything, just read the description below. And there's a few exercises I couldn't film because like the gym was quite busy, and like for some exercises I'd need to put my phone quite far away, and like. I didn't want like people like milling around and you know with my phone so there's a few but the exercises um I didn't film were like really basic ones which I don't think um you're missing out on much I got the I got most of it though um but I'd also thought I'd um show you guys how I uh like track my progress and stuff so I'm gonna show you that now um just as a little like extra bit to this video so I'll just show you that now. Right, so if this will focus. So I don't do anything too fancy. Um, I use like file paper and like just a pocket because um, you can get workout things on the internet. I think I got this one last time of like Amazon. There's, people sell loads of these. But I always found that um, like that wasn't enough space. Like all this. It wasn't enough space to like fit everything in and I found it really tight and I mean it's not too bad to be fair if you've got little writing but I'm I'm quite spacious with my writing and sometimes like my workout some of my workout names are a lot longer than this. Um but this it doesn't look too bad if if you like if you like this sort of thing but I've just done it myself with uh, file paper and I like how it's uh A4. So 
I like to I like to put like a little calendar in the corner. I don't know why. It just I because I I like the sort of visual aspect, and I um I circle the days that I work out. I've highlighted the week, and then like I've got the month as well. So this is very like I think some people would find this really stressful and messy. But if you've got like neat writing, and if you put a bit of effort in, um, you could even do it on plane, and you could do little like pictures or like those like bullet journal sort of things. Um, but I'm just very, I don't have a lot of, I don't actually really have a lot of time. So this is uh, just like a quick way. Um, so by week one, I mean, I've started this at the start of my bulk. So um, I'll label, so if I start my cut, I'll probably put in the corner like bulk or I'll put like a cover page. If I start my cut, I'll do that, that'll be week one again. But this is just to pro, this is like to progress through my bulk. So, um, yeah, so I like to use both sides for, um, my, like, two sides is good for a workout. And um, put my exercises down here. I like how I can do, um, I've got, like, notes about because I had, like, the bad bed at the time. So I was like, oh, this, this back workout wasn't working very well. Um, like, next time. You can put little notes for you to read for yourself next time because if you if you just work out and you don't like write down what you're doing or you don't think about your workout you just forget it all and like you go to your next workout and you just do like the same thing again and it's always good to like look at your last workout and think like i want to try and lift a bit more especially in, like a bulk where you're wanting to gain strength like i want to lift a bit more than this um yeah i'm mourning on about my bed um so I usually, because I usually do four workouts a week, so um, yeah, so it's really good to see progress because like in week one, I think for my shoulders on week two, I was I was doing um, DB shoulder press, I was only doing like the nines, but now I do like the 17.5, the sometimes the 20s if I'm feeling really strong, not for 12 reps, but like for like eight reps or so, so it's it's quite good to see. Um, I would recommend to try uh, write down what you're doing on your phone, and then when you come back, you can write it down because I always, especially with like the machines, I always like forget what I've done. Yeah, and then you can write like really angry notes yourself to put the weight up on the last set. Um, yeah, my writing's really bad as well, so. Yeah, this is just like, and I've gotten, I mean, I'm not perfect with it, because, I'm not perfect with it because, like, this is, like, before exams, so I didn't write. I know I did go to the gym that week because that was before exam season, but, like, I just totally forgot to write down, because I was a bit, I wasn't really so focused on this. So I've gotten up to week 13. And I'm going to write down my leg workout and I watch it again because I've forgotten it again. But I did this is like my delt workout yesterday. So yeah, I find so I'm on week thirteen of my bulk, which is quite a long bulk for me because I do I do um, gain quite a lot of fat, but I don't feel like I've gotten too fat this bulk time. Yeah, so I'm not breaking the mold by like writing down my workouts and stuff, but I think it's just important to stress that. Just just record what you lift and your reps and your weight just somehow in like an am like a book off Amazon or on file paper or you could make your own way, it doesn't have to be like mine. Just record it in some way so that you can like track your progress over time and see if your bulk's working. So like at the end of my bulk I could look I could think, Oh my biceps haven't really grown or or my back's not looking much better and I can look at my workouts through all my back workouts and I can see or you could you could you could record them on like an excel spreadsheet if you want if you like digital but yeah you could like look at all your bicep workouts and you could be like oh I've like I've like left the gym early or like I've not I've not finished all the workouts I've not done I've not increased the weight I've not really you know and you can you can see like why and then on your next bulk you can like improve on that and then if you've done something really well like if you if your shoulders have gotten bigger you can see like what maybe is why that works and what exercises you've put in to see what works 
Um, so it is, re it is really important. I have neglected it for a very long time. I have I have neglected it for a very long time, and I'm glad I'm doing it again. I still miss out workouts quite a lot, and I, I don't remember lifts, but you know. Uh, just do it like even if you do it like 90 or even 80 percent of the time it's going to be a lot more helpful so anyway i hope you guys enjoy my leg workout which is coming and uh, the voiceover over it so i'll see you guys next time bye so um starting off with sumo deadlift um this is a really new exercise for me i haven't i've only done this once before uh this session um i, I want to like prioritize my hamstrings and glutes a bit more because as you know my, my quads are okay um I do a lot that targets quads so um I'm very new to this exercise so if you can see any sort of changes to my form that I could do um you could comment down below I think I think I'm doing okay like um I'm not putting my chest too far uh, in front of the bar um, my back's quite neutral. I think I could maybe like sort of squat down a bit more, um, but I mean after this exercise, I do feel a really good like burn on like my hamstrings and my bum, and um, I'm lift like it's good because like I can lift on this. I think if I were to be like power lifter, and if I was to make a decision whether to do standard deadlift or sumo deadlift, I think I would personally do sumo deadlift because I think it's quite good for like short women because we don't have to like bend down too far and like the powers in our legs which women have stronger legs anyway so I do really like this exercise um you know I've tried like other exercise like deadlifts for hamstrings like Romanian deadlifts um stiff leg deadlifts and I always find that they just like like because my back's still so after back day so I, I really struggle with like trying trying to put enough weight on to hit my legs but like my back's still sore from back day so I feel like I'm my back's failing before my legs so this is like a really good exercise I think because I do you do feel a burn on your lower back like that I, I won't lie like it, I do feel like I'm giving my lower back a workout as well but it seems it seems to be a bit more even between my back and legs than say Romanian deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts so that's what I prefer about this uh, exercise and um, I do it first because I like to do compounds first I mean you could do isolations before you do compounds um, it depends on how you think you train better so if you do isolations before compounds um, it sort of helps exhaust the muscle that you want to grow and then you do compounds, but it just means that you'll you might lift less on compounds. Um, so I just like to do compounds first because I like to try and lift as much weight as possible. Because I think overall I generally need to de develop my strength a bit more. But if you if you know if you if you find you're very strong anyway, then you might uh, benefit from doing isolations first. Um. So this exercise is. This is this is technically a hack squat. My gym doesn't have any like hack squat machines or squat machines, you know, what you see in those like good American gyms. Um it's just got a leg press and like a squat rack. So this is essentially a hack squat, but it's in the Smith machine, you know, you can uh rest against the bar. But the purpose of this exercise is because you can go right down, down, down low, like that. Um, you can hit your hamstrings and your glutes and um, as long you don't need to do full extension um, the last quarter of the exercise is probably going to hit your quads um, so just just you, you know you want to keep the range of motion just where you can feel it in your uh, hamstrings and glutes um, and, and I know I'm not lifting very much. I mean, I, I've done this exercise for a while. I just like fall in and out in love with it because I w if I do this exercise, I won't do like normal squats. So it, cause it's, it, it's really tiring. Like I think it's because it, you, the range of motion is quite big. Um, I find it really tiring. So I haven't put much weight on, but it, the purpose of this exercise is, it is so that you can overload yourself um you want to keep adding weight on whereas i see like a lot of like girls who train glutes and uh 
on YouTube, they do a lot of exercises, which it's always like a lightweight, it's always like high reps, and it's always just like volume. Whereas I want an exercise where I can do like one really good core exercise that really like hits the areas you want to hit. That's how I like to train. Um, after this exercise, I did hip thrusts, which I don't do very often, but I just decided I'd do them. Um, and I think they're they're fine exercise to hit glutes. I just find the range of motion of hip thrusts not very good, but I did do them. I just couldn't film them after this exercise. I'd say this clip, this is where the range of motion is better. Like I'm not going up too much except there, but yeah, like you want you don't want a mat like t to do the last quarter of the range of motion. Um, so I did hip thrusts, and then this after I did hip thrusts, I did leg press. Um. So yeah, I mean, leg press is a really good alternative to like people who are tall, um, men who have long legs, um, better for them than squatting usually. Um, as you can see, I'm a five foot two girl. This range of motion isn't great, but because my gym doesn't have like other machines that I would want to use, like um, like a hack squat or a, a squat machine or all these other amazing machines you see people in America have. Um, I just do it anyway, usually, because, you know, it's a... I want, I want to use a lot of weight and stuff, and I want to overload. Um, I'm not putting a lot of weight on this time, though. I can usually do about three plates, but I was just so fried after all those, like, all the other exercises. Um, I just... I stuck to one plate. I should have probably put another plate on, but I think I was just being a bit of a wuss, like... But yeah, um, the range of motion isn't great, but I do. It is a good exercise. I mean, because if you lift heavy enough, you know, you will feel it. Um, and then after this exercise, I did leg extension, like quad extension, and the seated ham curl, which were exercises I did in my other um, leg day video. So I did do them. I just couldn't film them in this gym in particular because um, it was really busy actually, I mean you can't see it, but the gym was like really busy. So it was hard to um, film sometimes, so, but you know what, you know what quad extensions are and what like, seated hand curls are. But yeah, this was like, this was like day for, 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 with a focus for hamstrings and glutes rather than quads. So I hope you guys maybe learned something um, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.